there, I'm Sandy Alnock, and today I'm going to journal a really simple page on a complex verse from Romans 8. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Very complex and deep verse. And I'm going to do one of the simplest pages I think I've ever done for this one. But God guided every step of it. My original thought was to do something very complex. I wanted to do a beautiful sky at the top, a night sky with stars in it, deep ocean at the bottom, mountains with craggy trees in the middle, all these things in creation trying to take our tension away and trying to separate us from God. And yet, he, he still shines through, and I, I tried it over and over and over again in the Bible Journaling Made Simple Workbook. And that book is printed on Bible paper, so I practice a lot in that before I sit down to do it in my Bible quite often. And nothing worked. I could not, for the life of me, get that whole concept to come out. It was so complex, had so much detail in it, and it just didn't work. I stopped, though, when I asked the Lord to help me because I was having so much trouble and he said, haven't I told you to keep it simple? And so I went back to the drawing board and thought simply what to do. And God just showed me making simple strips of color, just swashes of color and letting them run into each other. I have the blue sky at the top, the brown mountains, green trees, and I'll do some more blue for the water and then some green at the bottom for algae. And it's just giving me a color base that I can do something else with. No one else will know. Well, you will because you watch this video, but no one looking at it would know why I chose these colors. And you might think, well, why don't you pick something happier? But these colors illustrated that idea in my head. And they will always be a reminder that I had this complex vision for how I could illustrate this and that God simplified it. He brought it down to simple swatches of color. So after it was all dried, I was getting ready to write the verse and I was going to put it on this vellum paper. You can do it on tracing paper as well, just so I could make sure all the words stayed in the right place and I had room for everything. And what happened was I was listening to another YouTube channel. It's called People and Songs. They do a lot of worship music there. And they've done this thing lately they call the Linger Room. They have a number of Linger Room videos in which they have a camera and some instruments and various members of their team come in and out of this room for hours and hours and just worship. They read scripture. They just praise the Lord and, and speak truth. And it's quite amazing. And as I was listening to that and working on this whole thing at the same time, a song came on there that I thought was perfect for Romans 8, 38 and 39. And that is, your love never fails. It never gives up. It never runs out on me. Now, is that not the perfect way to encapsulate all of those things I was trying to figure out how to draw and how to paint in one big picture? And those lyrics simplified the message and they brought it down to somewhere where my little pea brain is going to be able to remember that better. Sometimes the thought of heights and depths can get very heady and these lyrics make it very personal for me. His love never gives up. It never runs out on me. And the other, I took another portion from the song as well. In death, in life, I'm confident I'm covered by the power of your great love. And this together just seemed to work perfectly. The the letters fit in the right spots. It was like God orchestrated this. Do you think maybe this was his idea? This will always be one of my favorite pages for that reason. It came from him. It was not something I conjured up because what I conjured up wasn't working. So if you ever get to that point, stop and ask him, what is it that he's trying to say to you? And don't make it more complex than it needs to be. Let him do the, the thinking and the pondering because he'll come up with better ideas than you ever could. This may not be my most popular page ever because it's not fancy, but it means a lot to me because of what I went through in creating it and what God spoke to me. So I hope that you have those same kind of experiences when you read the word 
and try to create based on it. Listen to God and focus on what he's saying. Have a great week and I will see you again next Sunday with another video. Bye-bye.